Oh, I guess today's Tuesday with Wednesday's practice. Now that we're getting into these jumbled weeks again, and went out today in in shorts. We've got three games in 13 days, and so right now with as physical as the game was last Saturday, got to get some guys healthy and get their bodies back and some bumps and bruises and, and get some guys healthy for this game, but at the same time go out there and get some good work. We have we have a lot of injuries right now, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have a lot of <coughs> Excuse me. We have a lot of injuries right now, and so we have just a lot of guys that are kind of not playing new positions but are getting an unprecedented amount of work and some guys that have had to step up. And so uh, these practices have been really important for us, really big for us to get ready for this game. But I love the attitude and the work habits. I keep talking about that with this team, the way they're coming to practice, and there's a lot of energy out there in the practice. I think they're excited about playing this week. More questions. Skip, any better senses in terms of where the quarterbacks stand? What you've seen in terms of BJ's progress? Um, he's he's getting better. I mean, this is a thing again. As I said, we're going to have to go through this and see how he see how he responds to some of the treatment with it being a sprain and not a break or something like that, where you can put a timetable on it. So we're just waiting to see how he progresses. He did not he did not practice today. He was out there. He's involved in the meetings and everything going on mentally, uh, but physically, we, I don't want to do anything that's going to set us back right now. So. Uh, right now, Bobby Eveld got most of the reps at practice uh, for somebody that needs it, and there's a pretty steady rotation behind them uh, with who's going to be the backup, whether that's going to be a Matt Floyd, a Victor Mark, a, you know, uh, an Evan Landy, and a lot of guys, as I talked about, with options behind that. But right now, we're trying to get one ready. Did, did Matt do anything to give you a little bit more confidence in him that he'd be able to play in that backup role if necessary? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel a little bit better about it. I mean, it's it's hard because there's no, it's not live, you know, and everything's not going around full speed. Um, but still a little bit leery to have to be, where are we in the game? And what is the, what's the situation in the game? What's the severity of an injury? I mean, there's a lot of factors like that because we still have a game after this one. I saw you had Webster and Washington held out today. Is that more precautionary or anything that would have you concerned about Friday? No, I, I'm I'm expecting them to be full go. But, excuse me, I'm expecting them to be full go. Um, and again, yeah, they'll they should be they should be fine. They should be fine. Skip, I saw Marcus was out of practice today, and I don't know if maybe I misunderstood what you said yesterday. But has there been any change in his status? No, he's still he's out of he's out of practice, but he will not play. Well, he's no, suspended no. from the game, but he is still practicing. What about Spencer? Is he practicing at all? Or is no, he, not he is. Practicing? He is not practicing right now. No, he is not, and will not play. <laughs> Skip, will you, you do anything differently in terms of getting him prepared for, for having the, the oddity of an 11 a.m. kickoff on Friday? Um, you know, we, we had talked about do you try and get him up early on Thursday? You know, do you get him up there to get him ready for that? But right now, with this coming down towards the end, we only have a week left of school. And so right now, the academic demands are pretty high on him. And there's a lot of guys that are talking about eight and 10 page, 12 page papers. And I'm sure they're not getting a lot of sleep right now. So uh, we're just going to turn and try and wrap up our night a little bit earlier on Thursday night, make sure we can get him to bed early, so getting ready for what's going to be an early wake up call and pregame meal. So will, will the guys not have a chance to go back home then for Thursday? Uh, no. Um, you know, last year I gave them the opportunity because we played on Saturday. Saturday. Uh, and we traveled on Friday, and I let them go home on Thursday. And I typically like to give them the opportunity to go home to play in not only a Friday game but an 11 a.m. game. Uh, being as early as it is, I, I don't want them going home for Thanksgiving dinner Thursday and then coming back here Thursday night where they can't move because they ate so much. So uh, we're going to have a family dinner, a Thanksgiving dinner for the team tomorrow night, Wednesday after practice. Uh, we're going to have a Thanksgiving dinner for them, for the for the team and the families, and then for coaches, uh, families and the team, and then um, and then they'll have an opportunity to go home after an early game on Friday and spend Friday night, Saturday, and half the day Sunday before they have to be back. I was going to say that was going to be my lighthearted follow-up. I guess you can monitor how much they eat so they're not slowed down in an early We can off. give them a plate lunch and not a buffet. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like the putter job is on a practice-by-practice practice basis. So where are you this week? It is. I thought they both did a really nice job tonight. Um, I made, made the comment of practice. They, it baffled me because you sit out there in practice and you see the ball going 45 and 50 yards. And I keep waiting to see that in the game. We just hadn't been able to see it, but I thought they did a both did a really nice job of putting the ball today.